Now, before we get started, this video is sponsored by Newhouse. Here we have the Newhouse Classic Massage Chair with Otoman, an amazing ergonomic chair that's a 2020 Red Dot Award winner. Now, as athletes and fitness enthusiasts, we all know the importance of a good massage. They help boost muscle recovery and prevent future injuries. It increases blood flow and oxygen in your muscles and may decrease lactic acid buildup. So why not get a massage while relaxing and doing the things you love in a modern and stylish chair? After a tough training session, my favorite way to get a massage is by sitting in this chair and watching an episode of House of Dragons. This massage chair has six automatic modes, an upper body mode, a lower body mode, a sleep mode, a recovery mode, and a deep massage roll. It's even got three thermal massage functions. It's extremely comfortable as it has an S and L track that follows the curves of your body for a more natural massage experience. It's so comfortable that I often fall asleep on it. If you're looking to up your rest and recover game, check out the link in the description box below and use discount code SHREDDED10 to get 10% off. This is Nick Castiglia, a BJJ black belt and former professional MMA fighter. He is my head coach at the Gracie Baja in Ottawa, as well as a brother to me. I've been training under him for about 15 years. So here Nick blitzes in with a punching combination. He knows I like head movement, so he follows up with a high kick. I made him miss, but he lands his kicking leg down, steps his rear leg forward and into his side kick. Nick pumps out the double jab and which I parry and into my outside low kick. But notice how I slip my head off to the side to dodge any follow up punch, which turned out to be his cross. Nick throws his hands again, followed by that left high kick. This time, I try to undercatch, but his leg slipped away, so I followed up with a leaping hook. Nick dodges my low kick here and kicks back behind my thigh. Same thing happens here. Nick throws the left high kick. I undercut it and into my left hook, followed by my low kick. Oh, dramatic! Nick chases forward, clinches me, and into a skip knee, followed by a beautiful sweep by kicking out my leg as he drives me to his right. Here I go for a calf kick, but Nick counters with his left hook and cross. I go for my cross to double step low kick combination, but Nick catches it and drives me forward, taking me down. A super quick fake jab to inside low kick here from Nick, and I kick him back. And again. And we smile at each other. And I kick him again. Nick, and one more low kick. You can tell my relationship with Nick is full of laughs and jokes. We like to beat each other up in a safe way, with no eagle involved. Nick blitzes in with punches again to his left high kick. Hard to see, but I undercut it. He was too heavy to sweep, so I let go and right into my left hook again. Then he clinches me and into his flying knees. Here, I palm forward hand trap into my cross, slid my rear leg forward, saw that Nick had his check up, so I stepped off to the side to create distance and into that low kick to the rear leg, then backed away. Nick chases me, so I tied up with him and spun off, and as I moved forward to counter, he catches me with a nice left straight. A really cool spinning back kick here by Nick, he steps his right foot off to the left as he throws a nice long jab and spins right into a spinning back kick. Unfortunately, the camera missed the kick, but it landed perfectly. I dart in with my cross, slid my rear leg forward, saw that Nick had his check up again, so I stepped off to the side again to create distance and into that low kick to the rear leg. I slipped Nick's punches here, and I tied up with his circle punches by going palm and bicep. Then I throw a knee, and Nick clinches me, so I circled my head out to escape, and he follows up with his jab. I get him back with a left hook, and the sequence gets repetitive. Nick follows up with that left high kick. I undercatch, clear the leg, and into my hook, but I added a cross to low kick this time. But Nick reads me like a book and catches my low kick and starts cage wrestling me down. An inside low kick that Nick checks, and I followed up with my jab as I stepped my leg down and into my low kick. 
Nick lands the inside low kick in which I low kick back. Then Nick blitzes in with a seven punch combination. He goes cross, jab, jab, hook, uppercut, cross. Because I slipped his cross by dipping my head to his left, he pulls my head down and into his left knee. Then I fired that rear uppercut right through the armpit but missed the hook. Nick disengages and I pressure forward. I push off my lead foot and lunge forward into a jumping roundhouse kick. Here I threw my body jab as I step my rear leg forward into the pivoted position. Notice how Nick drops his right hand to parry, leaving his right side face open for my left high kick. I controlled my left high kick so Nick was able to catch it after the fact, but see how he gently lowers me down. He acknowledges that he was hit with a head kick and if it was thrown at full power and speed, he would not be able to catch it like that. There has been times in the past where this happens with new guys and instead of accepting that they got hit with a high kick, they continue to drive forward for a takedown. Don't do that guys. Catching the low kick is a controversial topic. Some say never catch the low kick because if you do, your opponent will fake low and go high next. However, as you get more experience, you develop the sensitivity to drop your hand to catch the low kick after the kick has landed, meaning you are catching the kick as it bounces or retracts back into their stance. Once again, you can see Nick doesn't reach for the low kick as it comes, but he lets me land it and as it bounces off his leg, he catches it. So Nick likes to throw the cross low kick as well, but the way he throws it is different than me. He does not double step. He throws it right after the cross, which in my opinion has less power and does not give the ability to close the distance if I were to back away or to create distance if it's too tight. However, it is faster. Ah. Yeah. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Thank you, Nick, for sparring and filming with me. Nick is a great coach, and I love him like an older brother. As usual, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you really want to support me, click that donation button below. Ten seconds, ten seconds, ten seconds, Nick. <laughs> Just finished a hard training session. I have arrived back in my apartment. First thing I'm gonna do is take a nice shower, get a nice nutritious meal in, then off to rest and recovery on my massage chair as I watch the House of Dragons. So, just got my shower, got some food in. Now I'm gonna sit down on my massage chair. Let's get a nice massage. So here's the controller. We got tons of options. I'm gonna go to deep massage mode and I just sit back and relax as I watch some House of Dragons. Finally, if you guys are interested in getting your own massage chair, go ahead and check out the link in the description box below and use code SHREDDED10 for 10% off.